So if you are dealing with a narcissist, you don't get bonus points for staying with them through all the struggles, for staying with them through all the cheating and all the hard time. You don't get bonus points for being a ride or die man or woman or non-binary person. Narcissists expect that of you. They expect you to forgive them for everything they have done to you, but they would not forgive you for doing the same thing to them. Narcissistic people expect blind support. So when they're struggling and they need your help, they expect you to help them. They, they expect you to help them help build them up into something better. And a lot of times, once you help build them up, they will leave you with somebody else. Because when narcissistic people feel like they've, they've achieved the, the next level, they feel like they deserve more. They feel like they deserve other people in their life. So when you're angry and mad as hell, when they leave you for somebody else and you say, like, I was there through everything, I helped build this person up. They do not care. And they will look you directly into your face and say, I didn't ask you to do any of that. What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. I am self-aware, diagnosed narcissist, Lee Hammock, and I use my platform on social media to raise awareness for NPD, get more people into therapy, and also validate the victims and survivors of said disorder. If this is your first time seeing my face, you know, I use it, this series right here is dedicated to, you know, taking my YouTube shorts and making them longer. They are 60 seconds or less. This is going to be a lot longer than 60 seconds. I can guarantee you that. So the one you just watched was about how you don't get bonus points or brownie points or life points for being a ride or die, for staying with a narcissistic person through the struggles that, they, that we or they put you through. You don't get that. Like so many people, like I see this when I'm talking to people over Zoom, I'm doing my one-on-ones and things like that. So many people say that they do the biggest anger that they have towards narcissistic people is the fact that they got discarded after they sacrificed so much for that narcissistic person i sacrificed so much for that person pretty much like i helped build this person up for nothing they got everything that they wanted out of life and then they left me for somebody else and i'm so angry that they, I, they can leave me like i was nothing because when I don't think like we if you take on a project man or a woman, like a project, not like from the hood or something like that. No, from a project, like somebody that's down on their luck, somebody that doesn't have much, somebody that's not living up to their own dreams and goals and things like that. Somebody that's like out of it. They're still staying at home with their parents, not by choice, but like by they forced it. Like they don't they can't move out because they they don't make enough reset. They don't make enough money. Or they're just down in their luck. Maybe they lost their job or something like that. You take on this person knowing that they're going to be burdensome, burdensome, knowing that they don't have anywhere to live. They don't have a car. They have multiple kids and things like that. They have kids by, you know, they have several kids. It could be a man or a woman. I'm not just talking, not talking about men living with their parents in the basement. I'm talking about women as well. Women that have multiple kids, men that have multiple kids and things like that. And no help. Like, if you take on this person, and they happen to be a narcissist. They resent you for being better than them in life. I just hope you know that. When you take on a when you take on a project narcissist or a narcissist that's down on their luck, they resent you for feeling sorry for them. I never, me personally, I never want anybody else on this planet to feel sorry for me. I don't want sympathy. I don't want no donations. I don't want anything. I don't want anybody to feel like they've ever done anything for me. And it's point blank period. I'm, I like to consider myself self-made because I, if I'm self-made, nobody can take credit for what I got to in life. So if somebody take, is taking credit for me to help build me up and stuff like that, I resent that person. I resent comments like that. When people are just like, you, your wife made you better. It, I resent stuff like that. I don't want to hear that because me, I made me better. You know, your wife forced you. My wife, my wife did not force me to go through therapy. She can come in this door right now and get on this video and say, hey, I'm leaving you. And I would still go to therapy Friday because it's for me. It's not for her. Self-made. And a lot of narcissistic people want to be because want to be self-made. They don't want anybody else to help build them up. So if you're helping build them up, they resent you for that. And they cannot wait. They're chomping at the bit to replace you. Because they feel like if they're going to upgrade in life, they're going to upgrade in personnel around them too. So they'll you'll build them up. You'll help them go back to school. You'll get them a car. You'll get you let them move in with you. You'll take care of help take care of their kids and things like that. Man or woman, I'm telling you. And then once you once they get to a point or a place where they feel like they they might start making more money than you, they get their degree, they boss up, you mean know, they do all that stuff, and then they will leave you. They'll start searching for your replacement, somebody that they feel like they fits them better in life, because somebody that they feel like is not going to hold it over their head that you help me out. Because when you like I said, I, when people tell me that, I understand what the narcissist. 
I understand what the narcissist is going through when they say, when you, people say that. It's like, they just replaced me for nothing, for nothing. They replaced you because they hated you for taking care of them. They resented you for taking care of them. They literally did. And that's not me joking. That's not me being spiteful or trying to get sympathy or nothing like that. That's literally me being real, 100% dead serious, honest with that right there. You don't get bonus points for that stuff, y'all. You don't get bonus points for helping build somebody up. Because it's like, because it, like, it, as a narcissist, like, if you're helping build me up, I feel like you expect you are expecting something back from me. Like I said, you're expecting something back from me. You're expecting credit for helping me get where I'm going and things like that. And I, ooh. a lot of narcissistic people will resent you for that. I'm telling you, I'm not speaking for all narcissists. Like, oh, well, my narcissist didn't do that. Of course, now I'm not speaking for all narcissists. This is bro and speaking in broad strokes and the stuff that's going on inside of my own head as well, y'all. So that's what I'm just saying. When you help build somebody up, when you take on a project, when you build this person up to the point where they can, they are self-sufficient, they don't need you anymore, they will show you, they show you that they don't need you anymore by leaving you for somebody else. I promise you. And you'll be hurt, you'll be broken down, and you'll regret giving so much of your time, effort, and energy to these people. That type of person. Literally. Because the narcissist wants to move on to somebody else. So sometimes y'all go through so much, you help them, you literally help build this person up. And they want to go on to somebody else who doesn't know that you helped build them up. Somebody else that has nothing to say about where I'm at in life. They meet me at this stage in life right now. They don't see me grinding. They don't see me building up. They don't see me you helping me buy me this stuff. They don't see you helping the narcissist buy this stuff. They don't see you helping them build up. But the other person doesn't know anything about that. They just know me. They know me in my final form right now. Like I'm Frieza from Dragon Ball Z. This is, this is not even my final form. They get final form me. You you got you got the first form, the broken down function form. Stop taking on project people. Stop taking on project. And some people, now this is not me victim blaming. Some people take on projects because you want to fix people, because you want you want you think that nobody else is going to want that person. Sometimes you do that. It's like, well, this person ain't got no job, got multiple kids, no money, no nothing. This person needs me, and nobody else is going to want this person. Nobody else is gonna want this person except for me. You take on that person, and then they leave you for somebody else. I'm telling you, it happens so much. And one of the worst ways, this one right here, y'all, is about the jail people holding now other people while while they in jail. Man, I get this. This is one of the most frustrating ones right here, y'all. This is, frustrates me to no end right here. Why are y'all so ad, so apt and so ready to hold down men and women that are going going through jail for a long period of time? Knowing that they wouldn't hold you, hold you down. Would you? Would, so I, I, saw, I saw a woman. I posted a video, a TikTok yesterday. A woman commented on it. She said, "Don't I know that I held mine down? I held mine down while he was in prison for twelve and a half years. He came home and like started treat me terribly. We got married or something. He started treat me terribly, divorced me, and left me for somebody else. Say I didn't say he was spiteful while I was holding him down in jail. I didn't hold him down correctly, and now I have nothing to show for it." You gave, she gave up 16 years of her life. And guess how long she knew that person before he went to jail? Three months. She said, I knew him for three months before he went to jail. And I waited on him for 12 and a half years. So, y'all, three-month relationship. You held him down for 12 and a half years. Like, ask yourself this question. Before you before you do something for somebody else, and I know this is going to sound selfish, and you gonna, people are going to be in the comment section like, Hey, Lee, you don't understand it. We're in past. You want to help people. Boop, 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 boop. I get that. But ask yourself this question. And literally, would they do all the stuff that you're doing for them? Would they do it for you? Would they reciprocate? Would they do it for you? If they're going to jail for 10 years and ask you to hold them down, would they hold you down for 10 years? Have they already cheated on you before they went to jail? Would you would so you know they wouldn't hold you down? They would probably forget you in the next first couple of months, where they can't realize they can't get their hands on you, they can't touch you, they can't be there for you. They're going to leave you within the first couple of months anyway, and you're gonna be upset, you're gonna be angry as hell, and, and no, and you have nobody to blame but yourself. And I promise you, right? This is not victim blaming. This is accountability right here. You like five, six, ten years holding somebody down in jail? Why? Because that's the most when people get out of jail. They, there's there's literally a phenomenon called freedom shock where they get out of jail and their freedom is shocks them and they go do all they try to catch up they try to make up lost time if they were in jail for five years they miss out on five years of their life they go out here try to make up five years of their life they might come home y'all might have a get it, get pregnant immediately y'all might have a baby immediately and then they'll start leaving you leave you somebody else once the baby is born 
or what, why you're pregnant, why, you know, just something else. They'll leave you for somebody else. They'll discard you because they feel like they have you trapped now. They're going to be in your life for the rest of your life regardless. So I'm just saying, stop, oh, it just blow, it literally blows my mind to like no end when I see these stories right here. I re it really does. It's just like, my, I held them down for 10 years. Why? 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 What did they do for you? What can they do for you right now in jail? I see all these people dating these prisoners and stuff like that. It just blows my mind to no end. Like, I get it. I get it. I get it. But I'm just like, what? What is the game from you? Like, people are like, I just know. I know. I know where they're going to be at. Yo, when these people get out of jail, most a lot of them are going to cheat on you and treat you terribly. What are they in jail for? Jail don't reform everybody. Everybody goes. In, oh, I'm just saying. Ask yourself, would they do it for you? That's all I do. That's all I say. Ask yourself, would they do it for you? That's all I ask. Anyways, y'all, take care of yourself. You don't get brownie points for being a ride or die. Understand the fact that you, when you ride or die, sometimes you die. And people will use that terminology all the time. I thought you were my ride or die. I thought you were my ride or die. You got to be a ride or die chick. You got to be a ride or die dude. You got to thought you were my ride or die. When you ride, it's ride or die. It's not ride and die. It's not ride till you die. It's ride or die. Sometimes you die. Sometimes you're driving the car. You get it. You're the passenger. You get ejected through the windshield. You die. They go on. They replace you with your sister or your brother or your cousin or somebody. They replace you quickly. It's ride or die. You don't get brownie points of being there ride or die and looking stupid and staying in a relationship as long as what you need to stay in because you want to hold them down. No, 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 no. 2022. Get started, y'all. Peace be the journey. Mental illness is out. Thanks.